Hello guys, welcome back to my PlayStation All Stars Arcade Mode Let's Play. In the last episode, we played a Sweet Tooth, and honestly, I actually quite enjoyed this playstyle. I even decided to give him a go on Legend. I thought I'd challenge myself, and yeah, I actually quite enjoyed playing a Sweet Tooth. I definitely should play as him again one day. In this episode, now we're going to play as Colonel Ruddock, and I'm actually quite familiar with Colonel Ruddock. I do quite like his playstyle. So what we're going to do is we're going to be playing on All Star I again because I like playing as Ruddock. Okay, let's do this. Some fight for it tooth and nail. Never understanding the struggle to hold it only leads to it slipping through the fingers. Power always finds its way to me, and always when it is most needed. Now, for example, Helgan is under assault by the ISA, an invasion which threatens our very existence. While beyond this planet and the warships massing above it, there are rumors of even more formidable opponents. A weak man might wait for those who oppose him to reveal themselves. Luckily enough for Helgan, I am not a weak man. No, I will find those who seek to do us harm. I will find them and I will show them what true power looks like. Okay, so who do we have first? We have Cole first. Oh, that makes a change. So we have Cole first, hmm, interesting. See, I'm quite familiar with Radek, I do play as Radek sometimes, and yeah, I actually quite like his playstyle. I like how unique he is, how the, the weapons he can use. Yeah, it's quite, he's quite a fun character to use. And of course, one dojo to start off with, like with every single arcade mode. Okay, let's do this. Of course, this is for the second time this Let's Play, I am playing on All Star. Bam! Oh, damn it, missed him. Uh, my favourite thing about Radek is using a sniper rifle. The fact is, Radek's sniper rifle can send this, send enemies flying like that. Yeah, I love using a sniper. Sni Radek is a very effective character, especially on really big maps. I wouldn't say Carp Radek is a very effective player on little maps because his short range attacks do are quite weak. I think. Yeah, if I remember correctly. Okay, this. Oh, I'm being under attack. Okay. Let's take away some of Radek, but Cole's XP. Okay. He's got quite a good level one as well. He, he has quite, he's got some quite good attacks as well. Ah. Yeah, so Radek is definitely better character to play as when you're on a bigger map. That's it. That is Radek's level one. Basically, rocket launcher fires a rocket and he blows up characters. The good thing about it is that it doesn't go in a straight line. You can. When you activate the level 1, the cursor appears on the screen and you can control it and wherever you have to do is press the R R2 button again and it will basically fire in that place where the cursor is so you can pretty much you can pretty much control where the, the missile's going to go. Okay, take away more XP. Level 2. Okay, I'll shoot it right. Radex level 2 is pretty cool. It reminds me of that gun from Kill... Is that... I, th I believe that weapon's in Killzone 3, I think. I can't remember what its purpose was for. Yeah, I think it... I can't remember what sort of weapon it was, actually. Yeah, I definitely remember seeing it in the Killzone games, though, when I played them. Yeah, I definitely remember seeing it. That green gun. Yeah, it's quite a very effective job. It can pretty much go in a straight line and can pretty much go across the whole map and it can wipe out every character in front of it. So, yeah, Radak has some very good attacks in this game. There we go. Got it. I have played Killzone before, I've played, I've pretty much played every single Killzone game. Yeah, I think I have. Well, except Killzone Retribution, I think. No. Killzone Liberation on the PSP. That's the only Killzone game I've not played. I've played Killzone 1. I've only played Killzone 1 a couple of times on the PS2. I finished Killzone 2 and Killzone 3 on the PS3. Oh my god, Killzone 2 was a hard shooter. Yeah, I definitely died a few times. It was quite a pain to complete that game on normal, on normal difficulty. I completed it on. Killzone 3 was very fun. Killzone 3 is probably my favourite console Killzone game. Oh, we're not going to say it's my favourite Killzone game of all time. I played Shadow 4 as well. And honestly, I didn't really like Shadow 4 that much. I thought it was a bit crap. Yeah, I didn't really get into Shadow 4 that much. Yeah, I didn't really like that game. Yep, Killzone Mercenary though. I love Killzone Mercenary. Killzone Mercenary is my favourite Killzone game. If not, it's also my favourite PS Vita game as well. Killzone Mercenary is just amazing. I'd say it's probably, it's one of the best, in my opinion, it's my favourite Vita game. It's definitely one of the decent, one of the only decent shooters on the Vita. 
The PS Vita really is like a first person shooter, isn't it? The, 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 and the Vita was blessed to have Killzone Mercenary on it. It's like Radex 1, they go how many kills do we get? We've got 5 kills, it's not bad. Level 73. Okay, let's see what we got now. Let's see who's next. We have Ratchet and Spike. Hmm, this should be interesting. So we've got another timed game. Yeah, and I love Killzone Mercenary. It's such an amazing game. My favourite Vita game. I poured hours and hours and hours into that game. Just because it's just pretty that one of the best shoot. It's easily the best shooter game on Vita because Resistance Bay Skies, Cool G Black Ops Declassified weren't really that great. Yeah, they definitely received with bad reviews. Borderlands 2 is okay, but it does have a few frame rate problems here and there. Killzone Mercenary though is the. I detect danger lurking. As I was saying, Kills and Mercenary is a definitive shooter on the Vita, easily. Right, let's get rid of these guys. Let's get rid of these two. I do quite like Rodex play style, it's actually quite fun. Oh, damn it. But I send, I send one of you flying, or both of you. Ah, Spike. Spike's on top of his game by the looks of things, and he's about to go flying. There we go. Ah! Yep, now Ratchet's about to go flying, hopefully. Yep. I'll say, I'll say maps this size are probably the best to use for Radex level 1, because it, especially if there's an opponent on the other side of the map, it can be quite easy. It can be quite difficult for like opponents on your side screen to see your missile coming or where it's going to go, especially if they're concentrating on taking out the other opponent. Okay, let's do this. No, oh, bugger. Okay, that wasn't good. That wasn't good. I was gonna. Ah, okay, let's do this. Let's see what happens here. Ah, nice. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I would say Radek is not the best character I've played as. Yeah, I do definitely prefer playing as Kratos, Nathan Drake, and Jack and Daxter, to be honest. But yeah, I do like playing as Radek. Oh, I need just interrupted Ratchet level one then. People say Ratchet level one's overpowered, but luckily it can be quite easy to dis to interrupt, like I did just then. I was quite lucky I interrupted that then. Ooh. However, I would say Radex level 1 is, isn't the most effective level 1 in the PlayStation All Stars. I would say there are definitely better level 1s out there. But Radek has a very good level 2. I do think his level 2 is great. And welcome, and here comes Bugs. And we're going to have another question come out. But I wonder what the question will be if a question comes up. Let's hope it does. Let's hope a question comes up. Whoa. Looks like the little big planet is invading the. It's interrupting his show again. Or is it? Yeah, I bet it will. Well, I've seen another question come up. Let's see what the question is. Whoa. Will a question come up? Yes. What type of game? What type of game is medieval? Oh, a platformer. I know this. It's a platformer. Ooh! <laughs> Ratchet, you sneaky rat. Oh, this would be good to activate level two. Yeah! Perfect. This. Yeah, nice. If you get a question wrong, um, yeah, you get pie splattered in your face, pretty much, and it takes away your character's XP. That's all it does, really. It's not, it's not bad. It's not terrible weapons, but yeah, it can. It definitely takes away quite a bit of your XP. Nice, get out. Yes, the kill, Radek Sniper is, my, is, in my opinion, my favourite thing I like to do with Radek. I knew Medieval was a platformer. I've played Medieval before on the PS1. Okay, let's see what the next match is. We have Jack, Kratos and Parappa. Oh, Jack's in this game. Of course, I like to go easy on Jack because he's my favourite character. My favourite video game character of all time, but yeah, if I have to beat Jack, I will. Let's see what map we're on though, it's be quite interesting to see what map we're on. Okay, let's see what map we're on. Yeah, I'm on loot. Storeways, Uncharted, this is a good map. Oh, this is very small. I wonder how Rodek will do in these circumstances. 
Yeah, I've played Medieval before on a PS1. It's actually a very fun game. I actually do quite enjoy it. I need to pull more hours into it, though. Yeah, because it's that platform was my favourite type of games. So I, I definitely have enjoyed Medieval while playing it, so I really do need to get back into it again at some point. It's been a while since I last played it. Cool. Okay, this is not a good time to activate Rydex Level 1 attack, because I think Rydex Level 1 will easily get inter interrupted. Or will it? No, that's how I just took out my rapper, the rapper. Lucky that power up came. Lucky to, it's lucky to be able to do that. And I took out the rapper again. Uh, Jack took out Kratos. What well, team we're making, Jack? Although it's a shame we're not on the same team here. Okay, what power up do we get here? Ooh! Oh, I love this. No, I took out Jack though. I should have taken out Kratos with power up. Sorry, Jack, but that is the game. Yeah, cool, Rodex on the roll here. I think it's safe to say he's winning this game at the moment. Oh god, Kratos stopped. Okay, it's launched a bomb on Kratos. There we go. Let's hope he doesn't block it. Oh, he does block it. Oh, clever man. Oh, I want to use a bomb on Kratos. Damn it. Fine, I'll use the bomb on someone else. Yeah, I do use it on Kratos. Will he block it again? No, he doesn't. Ha ha. Boom! Damn it, I'm just gonna have to use the sniper. So I'm gonna do some sniping. See, I love using a sniper as Radek, it's so useful, especially when you're outside the map to everyone else, it's so awesome to do. Literally just stand in a distance of the map and literally obliterate everyone on the other side of the map, which is literally what I'm doing right now. Okay, let's let's get this. Level two, nice. Should I, should I go? Actually, I don't think there's really much time to go to level 3. I think we'll just activate Rydex level 2 for now. We'll definitely activate Rydex level 3 in the next map. Okay, let's move. Boosh. And we get Kratos and Parap. Jack is safe. Oh god. Jack. That was you, man. Yeah, oh, two if I can snipe this guy, so Parap is in my way right now. No, I activated that too early. I was hoping literally one of them would, either Jack or Kratos, would go into my trap. But no. This will do. Who's going to go in it? It's either going to be Jack or Kratos. Who's it going to be? If I go down here, perhaps one of them will go into it. And poor Apple just took Kratos out in style. I will have Time up. Safe say I've won that. Yep, Jack came second. That's good, that's what I want to see. And Kratos came last. Alright. Parappa easily got the most deaths though, so yeah. Okay, intro, new intro unlocked for Radek. Okay, let's see what next map we're on. We have Raiden, Sackboy and Big Daddy. In this map, I'm going to be using Rydex level 3, because I think it would be good to use Rydex level 3, especially if Raiden is on a slightly harder difficulty than Sackboy and Big Daddy. I think this would be a good time to use a level 3 attack. Let's just hope I can get to level 3 in time. I should be able to within 3 minutes. Hopefully. Let's find out. Friends, Lokoroko. I like this map. This battlefield was good. Yeah, I think I told you a story about Lockero. I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I told you in a previous PlayStation All-Stars episode. I think it was Par Rappers episode, I think. Yeah, or well, was it Kratos? I think it was Par Rappers. Hey, get off it, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Par Rappers episode. Where I told you about when my school friend snuck a PSP into school one day and he played Lockero on his PSP. Yeah, no, and then literally loads of... Me and some other school friends were sitting around him, were standing around him watching him play it on the playground. It's pretty fun. A pretty good time. That's a pretty good time. I did sneak a PS Vita in school once, but I didn't really get much time to play it. Okay. Let's see if I can get a little free in time. Oh, sniping. Oh, I love using sniper in this game. It's so good. Yeah, I wouldn't say that's very good, though. This electricity thing is not very good. I've never known once to use that perfectly. Level 2. Brilliant. I'm not used level 2. I'm going to rank up to level 3. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. Bastard. Oh, God. There we go. And 
pirate raw deck is really fast. Yeah, move. XP is mine. I should easily get to a free in time. It'll be useful if I can get to a free, especially with the difficulty that raw deck is on. Raw deck, ride it. Raw deck and Raiden. I sometimes get those two mild up occasionally, as they do have quite a similar name. Raw deck, Raiden. Yeah, that's how it's similar. Yeah, level three. Let's do this. What's his level three? The show names. Oh, yeah. So I remember this. Raw deck level three is amazing. I love it. Oh, yeah. Shoot that fish. <laughs> Shame he doesn't die though. Oh, sack boy. Yep, yeah, got sack boy. Nice. Six kills. Not bad. What is that? I've no idea what world that's invading. Not Roko right now. Bye, sir. Killzone. Yeah, I love the Killzone games. They're really fun. Whoa. Especially Killzone Mercenary on Vita. That game is fantastic. Will I ever see that game come to PS4 one day? No, I don't. I think it's very unlikely, but you never know. We definitely got some very good praise on the beat. I need to get away. Actually, I think this one be Metal Gear Solid. It's invading the world of Lockerock here right now. I think it was that exclamation mark that kind of gave it away. A ride and go away. And it just got away from Raiden, that should... That's definitely killed some time for Raiden. Okay, let's see if I can get a good distance and use my level to level 1. No! He dodged it, little bastard. Oh, no. Go on, kill Radek. Raiden. Go on, good boy. Nice one, Sackboy. Now, time to get rid of Big Daddy. Oh, fuck. Sackboy and Big Daddy are actually rivals in this game. Yeah, Sackboy and Big Daddy are actually rivals. And they're actually both on the same map here. Oh, crap. What the hell did you do to me? Who was that Big Daddy, you rat? Oh, I just got my 10th level one just got interrupted again. Let's just hope I've won this game. I'm pretty sure I've won this game, hopefully. I've got six kills, so I think that should do it. Cool, that game ended just in time, I think. Just before Rardak could get those kills. Rardak came... Raiden came second. I meant Raiden, not Rardak. Sapboy came last, and Big Daddy came third. Yeah. Whew. I think, that was just, I, think I just got away with that. Okay, we're on to kills now. We've got Fat Princess, Sweet Tooth, and Toro. What map we gone beyond? Should I use my level two or level three? I don't know. I'm not gonna use my level one for these kills in case I do muck up. In case there's a point where I do muck up because of course Crowd Dex level one can easily get interrupted. But what map are we on? Elden's Tower, infamous. Oh uh, we haven't been on this map yet in this let's play. I actually really like this map. It's probably my favourite map in the game, actually. And you can see Sly Cooper's mask in the background there. This is gonna be fun. Ready? Push-ups, eh, for Toro? I do push-ups. When I'm in well, when I'm in gym, when I'm doing a workout at home, I do push-ups. Okay. Let's get some let's get three kills ready. I want to show you the whole of this map because the world of Sly Cooper invades this map and it's quite awesome when that happens because you get to see Car Carmelita on like the ladder of a helicopter. And what the you know those ladders you get when you're trying to get off a helicopter? Yeah, she gets on one of those and you can pretty much see Carmelita circling the whole of the tower. Let's go up. That's what I like about this map, the fact that cha the scenery changes quite quickly. In fact, you can go up. This map, yeah, it's, the scenery changes pretty quickly. It's quite fun. Right, I need to upgrade to level 2 before anyone else does. We're near the top, I think. Are we going to go straight to the top already or not? Nah, I think it's going to end here for a while. I lost my level 1, whoever did that. Yes, I got level 1. I'm just going to use my sniper rifle because I love using my sniper. Yep, yeah, just keep doing that. Oh crap, Sweet Tooth, you rat. I played as you in the last episode, Sweet Tooth. Why are you going after me? And the scenery is changing. It's very dark now. I really like this map. This is probably one of my favourite maps in the game, actually. There's quite a few maps this game I like, and some that I don't. This is one of them. I'm surprised we haven't actually been on this map yet in all the other episodes we've done so far. Okay, now, hmm, shall I use my level 2 here, or shall I go to level 3 again? I don't know. Choices. All the choices I have. Oh, I only just avoided Toro's attack. Right, here we go. 
Yes! Got them. Good timing. We didn't see Carmelita invade the map, but oh well. We'll hopefully see it in this episode, in this Let's Play. Okay, let's go to the next one now. We've only got one more kills match, then Radek's gonna meet his wife. So we have Nariko, Evil, Carl, and Heihachi. Nariko's on a slightly higher difficulty, so she might be more difficult to take out, but who cares? Radek can take her. Hopefully, Radek can win this. Let's just hope Nariko doesn't get ahead of the game and get plenty of kills. Let's just hope that doesn't happen. Okay, anyway, what map are we on though? Hmm, I wonder. Metropolis, Ratchet and Clank. I'm ready for this. I just love how Captain Quark's literally on the very, if you look right in the middle of the map in the Raiders, you'll see Captain Quark literally worshipping his statue. I don't know why he has a statue, because he's the most useless captain I've ever seen in a video game. If you ever played a Ratchet and Clank series, you'll understand how useless Captain Quark is. He really is one of the worst captains I've ever seen in a game, if not in a, in anything. All oh, this axe is going to be very handy. I'm level one. Oh, why can't I have the axe for the whole thing? Oh, brilliant. This could come use, this could be useful. But I just need to use perfect time to use it. Yeah! Took Nariko out. Awesome. That was a good shot. Good opportunity. Wait, what the hell? Oh, I'm up here. I just lost track of where Radek was then for a second. And Katsukorg is running away from the rain. Yeah, the world of God of Wars invaded the map. And Captain Quark did not last very long. Of course he didn't. Okay, level 1. I don't know whether to choose my level 1 or not. I'm very... Right, Nariko, what you doing? I'm just going to take away some XP from the Rico, let him go back to play. This is such a useful power-up. Yeah, Radek, especially when you want to use a level 1 because it freezes the enemy for a short period of time. And Radek has a good opportunity to use his level 1. No! I was going to try and hit... Who was that? Yeah, Cole, but evil Cole. That did not go to plan. Just keep, as we're on quite a big map, let's just keep using the Sniper. And Rico is in my way. You. Get someone up. There we go. I lost one match in this let's play so far, and that's with Kratos. And come on, no! Bastard. Nariko, you son of a bitch. Okay, let's head back into that map and let's get some. Let's get three kills again. Where did I go wrong there? Okay, this time I'm not going to muck around. I'm actually going to go for level 3 this time just to take Nariko out quicker. I think it'll be much easier to do that. Yeah, I think that'll be much easier to do if I rank myself up to level... Maybe level 2. I don't know. It depends where all the characters are fighting. Okay, let's just do this already. Fight! Fight. Let's go. Of course, I'm playing as Radek and New Star. Of course, we're all starting with difficult difficulty in the game. I'm really glad I'm not playing as every single character on the side because that would be a nightmare if I was playing as every single character. Well, it would be so good if I could activate level 2 here. Nariko, get away from me! I'm not going to use a level 1, I'm going to focus on level level 2 or level 3 attack. I'll most likely use a level 3 for this map. Right, send Cole flying. Boom. Oh, that didn't go. What are you doing, Hey Hatchy? Okay, I sent Hey Hatchy flying. Nariko, Nariko, Radek can easily send his characters flying with the power ups he has. Okay, let's use this. Oh, this is going to be so useful. Get away from that. Good. Did you take it away from me? I still got it, man. I still got it. No, I don't. Damn it. Yeah, got the Rico. Yeah, that's payback. I had to stop the Rico then because I thought she might have got a level. I thought she might have got three kills then, so I didn't want to risk it. I had to take the Rico out then. Okay, level one. Brilliant. Let's keep going. Okay, let's stop the other characters in the. Let's stop the Rico using their level one. 
So far, Evil Cole is in the lead. Oh, crap. Oh, he's actually on two kills. Oh, my God. I must stop Evil Cole. Defeat. Again. Fuck it. Well, I'm going to cut ahead so I get three kills. I'll see you guys there. Yeah, now I've got two kills. Oh, I'm tied with Noriko. I better do this. Oh, God. I best take away her level one quickly. Gotta take away some of XP very quickly before she can use it. Whew. Yes! Oh, what? No! Damn it. Oh, God. It needs to be very quick here before Noriko gets any more. Oh, nice one, hey, actually. Good move. That gun he hit someone very quickly. Yes! Done it! Oh my god, that was lucky. Just in time. Oh, finally done it. Oh. Okay, I'm level 80 now, Roddick. That's nice. Okay, let's get out of here. Whew. Okay, now we're going to meet Roddick's rival PlayStation character. I think this is quite a good pair up, actually. You might find hard to see why, but I'll tell you guys a bit more when we meet the rival character. Okay, enjoy this cutscene, guys. I'm afraid my search for a worthy opponent may have been in vain. If this is the true threat to the Hellgast, we have nothing to worry about. One side, I have work to do. Speak clearly. You should have moved when you had the chance. Now you could have stand there mumbling. Do you know how to use that sword? Good. Let's hope this provides more than a momentary diversion. No, somehow, I think it won't. So Radex turns Sir Daniel to a fight. I actually quite like this pair up because... Radek and Sir Daniel are pretty much two generations. Sir Daniel's from the medieval times and Radek's from the future, so I think that's why they were both paired up. This battle and now it's actually quite that's actually why I actually Fight. like this pair this pair up, because I think it's actually quite awesome though, that they've done that. Oh god. Sir Daniel was quite a useless character in this game. I really don't play as Sir Daniel that much. I think he's a bit of a terrible character to be honest. With you. Ah, let's hope I can do this. Come on, Radek. I think I'll focus on using my level... Luckily, Sir Daniel's level 1 is absolutely useless, so there's nothing to worry about. Yeah, yeah so as long as he doesn't get still to a level 3, I think we'll be alright. I think I'm going to focus on level my level 3 for Sir Daniel, because I think that'll be a quick way to end this match. Yeah, if I just go get to level 3, then hopefully I can... If I take away more Sir Daniel's XP, that'd be great, and that's too late. Of course, I'm not the best character of Radek. There are better Radek players out there than me. I know I do play as Radek a bit, but he's definitely not a sore character I play as online. So if I played as Radek online, I would struggle a bit, I think. But however, the servers for online on PlayStation Stars now have been shut down, so there's nothing really for me to worry about. And let's take away some of his XP quickly before I get whooped. Hey! Right there. We go. Maybe Sir Daniel should have walked away when he had the chance. On level one. Oh, he's still on level one, right. Ooh. There we go. Hopefully, he should get yeah. level zero now. Stomp straight on his face, and the skull did not crack. Or well, did Roddick stomp on his face or his body? Let's find out. Yeah, I think it was his face, or was it the back? Or was it the front of his back? The very top of his back, maybe. Right, get it. I want to activate level 3 in time before... Yeah. Right. Let's do this again. Yeah, Sir Daniel's not the best character in this game. He really is one of the worst characters to play this game. But he is in my eyes because I really do struggle. When I play as Sir Daniel, I really struggle to play as him. Uh, nope. Level 0. Level 3. Oh, quite late enough. Yeah, there we go. Wow, that electricity actually came in handy. Right, let's do this. No Time to blow the hell out of Sir Daniel. Right, come on, respawn already. Respawn! Come on. Yeah, that's one kill. Another kill. 
Just one more kill left. Just one more kill needed. I think hopefully a level 1 or a level 2 attack should finish him off now. Let's just hope I can finish him off perfectly on level 1. I hope I can, but just, hopefully he won't disrupt my Radex level 1 perfectly. I hope not, anyway. Right, there you go. No! Oh, he saw that coming. He was waiting to jump and activates it. What bastard. Okay, they're fine. So Daniel asked for it. Oop, oop. Hey. Hey, watch it. Watch it, you. Watch it. It's XP away. Wait for it. Ah. Oh, he's with my ass at the minute. Oh, and he's actually got me. Wow. Yeah, I think you cheered a bit too early, sir. Daniel, ha ha. That's a good opportunity to catch him off guard. And he's not very happy about the fact he lost. Level 81 now, that's great. Okay, let's get out of here. Time to face the Polygon Man. That is, that is, that's his actual name, by the way. It's not the Hetzkin or the Octagon Man. It is the Polygon Man. That's very close, but yeah, it's called, he's called the Polygon Man. Okay, let's meet this guy and whoop his ass. I have no idea what he just said then. Okay, let's like we're up against Cat first. Yeah, she shouldn't be too... At least it's not Emmett Graves though when he puts out that turret of his. Because when he puts out that turret, it's actually quite a nightmare to destroy it. it kind of reminds me of Ratchet deploys Mr. Zircon. Luckily Mr. Zircon's not as powerful as the turret that Emmett Graves puts out. Let's hope I can get rid of this woman. Okay, we'll just wait. She just wait. Yeah! Perfect. I didn't even press any button and his level 1 just activated. At least Cat's gone though, that's all that matters. Ooh. Yeah, shoot the hell out of his face. Use that triangle button. Just press a triangle button on standing still. Don't press any other um, button. Just press a triangle button and he'll shoot his machine gun. Who we got? Zeus and Nariko. Oh, not Nariko. She was a nightmare in a previous match. One, fantastic. Let's see if her level is new. new. I've got Zeus, nice. I actually got someone. So, Radex level one's not doing too bad at the moment. Okay, let's pick this up. Oh, so I can't use my attacks for a little while? No. Yeah, luckily, I'm not on level one or anything at the moment, so there's no, not much point. And now it's gone. Okay. This picks up again, I've got another power up. Okay, yeah. yeah. Nice. Oh god, not these turrets. Jack and Daxter turrets. You can tell it's Jack and Daxter because of the precursor language on it. Let's see if I can take him out. Take her out. She's waiting. Yeah, got her. Nice. When she rolled over, I knew it would be a good time to hit her. Time to shoot his head. He tries to crush me, but that doesn't work. Why don't I just drop a bomb and blow his face up? If I need to crowd that construct C4 because I'm just blow the crap out of it. That'll be the best way to finish him off. Right, let's take away some of their XP, this will be awesome. Maybe I should uh, maybe I should use Rod X level 2 at this point, so I think that'll be easier. Maybe. Okay, let's just use a sniper and just blow the crap out of it. Snipe the crap out of everyone. Ah. Oh no. Oh, ah, there's three of them. What is going to happen to the map? What is Polygon Man going to do? Oh, just Platoon, I think it's called. Is it Platoon? I don't know. I don't know what that game's called. I know it's not Escape Plan. I found out it's not actually Escape Plan, like I said, in Kratos' arcade mode. Was it Kratos' or was it... Pa no, I think it was Pyrapa's arcade mode I said that. It was on God of War. It's on the God of War map where those little minions invade the map, so that's what I was thinking of. Just wait for it, wait for a good opportunity, right. Nariko is level 1. Bye bye. I've got them, all three of them, nice. Now it's time to take out the Polygon Man. Uh huh. 
Let's use this. Interesting. No way, man. Victory, yes, man. Like that, the Polygon Man blows up. I knew if Radek strapped C4 to him at the start of the map, that would have been so much. That would be awesome if Radek could do that. See a cutscene of Radek strapping C4 or something on him, that would be awesome. Okay, guys, that is Radek's arcade mode complete, and we finished that on All Star mode. And Radek is on level 3, 83, sorry. What is a level 3 for? Radek's on level 83. Yeah, that is Radek's arcade mode complete on all-star mode, and that was very fun. Radek is a fun character to play, especially if you want to have a mix up some moves and attacks and stuff. Okay, so guys, I'm going to end this episode off here. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. In the next episode now, I think Sly Cooper is next on the roster. Yes, he is. Sly Cooper is next on the roster. So in the next episode, I'm going to be playing as Sly Cooper. And I'm also going to be playing as Sly on all-star as well, because I'm... Very familiar with Sly, I have played as him a lot in the past and I have beaten it his arcade mode on All-Star. So, in the next episode we're going to be playing as Sly Cooper and we're going to be doing that on All-Star. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, thank you all so much for watching as always. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like, leave a like on the video. This is GoldieX and I'm out. The warriors I've encountered were among the most worthy of my talents. It's almost a pity none were my equal, though not unexpected. Unfortunately, this diversion has done little to stem the flow of ISA forces to Helgan. My planet needs leadership now more than ever. Strong leadership, bringing order to Helgan while protecting it from outside forces. Leadership born of respect and respect, of course is born of power. And if the people of Helgan and the ISA invaders think they know the power I carry, they're wrong. And being wrong in this case will cost them dearly.